Hey you guys, today I have a book review for you already. Um, I am going to be reviewing Nothing Like You, and it is by Lauren Strasnick. And I have to say, I gave this book a 5 out of 5. It is an amazing book. Um, it is kind of frustrating, but I think the um, good parts of it overrun the frustrating parts. It's about a girl named Holly, and she's 17, and her mom recently died of breast cancer about six months ago. And she's living with her father named Jeff. And she has been kind of having a secret relationship with Paul Bennett. And Paul has a girlfriend named Saskia. And um, Saskia is perfect and sweet and nice and wonderful. And um, Holly kind of needs um, like self-assurance. And she th she uses Paul as kind of like a self-esteem booster and she kind of is thinking well he wants me so I must be desirable and it's very typical teenage girl not to, to stereotypes but um, from what I've discovered and it was just very good and it was so frustrating because as an outsider looking in you can say he's using you he doesn't care about you he's an asshole he's a jerk you know just get rid of him you don't deserve him but when you're in that when you have somebody that loves you and appreciates you and has all these things you find it so hard to break away from that because you need that emotional connection and I think she has kind of a strained relationship with her father and her mother's obviously gone. And she does have a best friend named Nils, who's awesome. And he um, he's very sweet and stuff. And I think she is very jealous of him and his girlfriend. And um, so it was just, it was <coughs> excuse me, it was just very good, a very thought-provoking book. And the characters were all very warm, besides Paul, but... Uh, they they were very warm and very inviting and very sweet, and you grew to love them. Um, I did find Holly a little bit annoying sometimes because she's very me, 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 and um, she's so caught up in her own life that uh, she doesn't really pay attention to people around her. But, you know, I can't really blame her. I mean, she's had a lot on her plate, and... Um, so it was just a very good book. Quick, quick read. I read it in like four hours. The print's like that. So I mean, super fast, guys, if you want a really quick read. And some of the chapters are like a page long. And it, it was just a good twist because at the end, I'm not giving anything away, it says so. Um, at the end, uh, Holly and Saskia start to become friends and the guilt is starting to rise up in her. And Paul, at the end, is such an ass. And, oh, my God. Like, you know he's going to be an ass. Like, I'm not giving anything away. You know he's going to be a jerk. But just what he does is very manipulative. And he knows that she she is vulnerable right now. And he's taking advantage of it. And it really pissed me off. But, um, still, the book was really good. And I actually would like to buy this. So, um, 5 out of 5 stars, awesome book, highly, highly recommended if you're a teen girl, or even not, I mean, um, there's a lot about, you know, self-esteem and love and, um, caring about friendships and, you know, just everything, and, um, it was very good, and I love the cover, I think that's so cute, I love the orange and the turquoise together, but, yeah, so that was my book review, I hope you guys, um, liked it. Um, I'm currently reading Forest of Hands and Teeth. I'm about 24 pages in, and it's actually better than I remember, so that's a promising sign. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I don't know what was up with me the first time I read it. Maybe I had jet lag or something. I don't know. But it's better this time around, so um, we'll see. And then the other thing is I actually have a kind of a potential job interview. <laughs> it's for a um, leak Preve um, prevention, kind of like a dispatching, like I, like people call in and need help with their pool, and I help dispatch the technicians out and do customer service. So um, I'm hoping it'll go well. It's in Keller, so it's re still really close, no freeways or anything like that. So um, I'm really hoping that it could be something because I'm tired of the kennel. So um, yeah. 
I hope you guys are having a good Friday. It's finally Friday, and I don't have to work this weekend. I'm so excited. And, um, yeah, so uh, I think tomorrow my mom and I are going to have, like, a um, ladies' day because my dad has to work. And then on Sunday we're going to go to Olive Garden and go bowling and stuff for Father's Day. So it's going to be a really fun weekend, and I'm pretty excited about it. And um, I'm so excited for Florida. I go in 13 days, so less than two weeks. I cannot wait. I'm so excited. Um, I'll put a new picture of my niece and nephew in here for you right now. They're so cute, and they're just, they look, Noah looks just like Bella did when Bella was his age, and it's just so cute, and I'm so excited to um, see them. My sister is keeping it a surprise from my four-year-old niece, and so I know she's going to be beside herself with excitement, because I haven't seen her since December, so I'm super, super excited, and yeah, life is good right now, so um, I hope you guys are having a good day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.